Now what do we do? If, if you're Ron Hornaday, uh, you yeah. see the rain, you, is it going to rain this race out, or do you need to come in and get tires? You hope Harvick's driving down, driving around a track in a, in a car uh, a, a mile or two from around here. And, and What's it doing over there? You can't pit from the lead right now, I don't believe, Phil. If you're running seventh or eighth, you're loving this because you know you don't have anything to lose. You're on the lead lap. You can't fall back any further than that. Come in, get your tires if you got them, adjust your thing up, and hope that the rain stops because then everybody in front of you has to come to pit road. You're going to have the track position you need. Terry Cook's going to get the Aaron's lucky dog here. That'll put him. Lucky dog, so let's, let's see what happens there for if he can't pit. And then when he he's going to definitely come in and get those tires. Probably Ted Musgrave, who's running seventh, is also going to come in as well as probably Matt Crafton in sixth. I said. Definitely, if I'm those guys, I think I'm going to come down pit road. And Skinner, he's riding in fifth. He's had a tough season. I think he's probably going to just set Pat and say, okay, if it rains and we get fifth, we'll take that tonight. Again, the rain has brought out this, the third caution of the night. There were seven trucks that were on the lead lap. Now with Terry Cook getting the Aaron's Lucky Dog, that will make it eight trucks on the lead lap. So the strategy potentially for sixth, seventh, and eighth, they will make it onto pit road, get fresh tires. Ron Hornaday out in front of the field. He's pretty much stuck. He's got to stay there. Lap 113, and we have pit stops under caution. The rain has stopped at Atlanta, and as you can see, Jack Sprague taking advantage. Four tires, fuel, he is away. Ray Dunlap. Tires for Ron Hornaday, too, and you know what? It kind of got forced into the making that decision. Why? Because Kyle Busch came down the pits while we were under caution, and they put tires on that 51. The 33 had no intentions of pitting until they saw the 51 come in, and once that happened, they had to come in and get tires. Yeah, the rain has stopped here, so what a great move by Richie Waters to bring Kyle in the first off road open because most of these guys said well, this race may get rained out. So they stayed on the racetrack. Kyle Busch, Richie Waters, they said, hey, let's roll the dice. We're going to give up second. We're going to come down pit road, and if the other guys have to pit, they're going to all be behind us. And Ted wow. Musgrave also came down the same time the 51 of Kyle Busch came down. So when they cycle back through, it will probably be the 51 and then the 59. And we're seeing the hey, man, Chad McCombie. Chad McCombie stayed out on the race track. Well, and so he, McCombie and Crafton are one and two. They're going to get eaten up. Yeah. They won't get off turn two with the lead. Those trucks behind them will go to the high side and drive right around them. Tires are everything here. And the, and the cats right behind them have them. Fresher tires for the 51 of Kyle Busch and Musgrave, as well as Hornaday, Skinner, Sprague, and Cook. And Kyle Busch now has that 59 of Musgrave as a little bit of a buffer in between he and Hornaday. They have proven to have the best two trucks this entire race, and now Kyle Busch has that 59 of Musgrave. Maybe hold up that 33 a little bit of Ron Hornaday. Let him get by that 88 of Matt Crafton, who's running second, and that 8 of Chad McCombie, who's leading, and get a little cushion. Adam Alexander. And you guys talked about the 51 of Kyle Busch coming down early. The guy that joined him on pit road, the guy you see there, Ted Musgrave. Now, the thing we should put out for Musgrave, he had no sticker tires left, so they put on the tires that he started the race with. But as crew chief Danny Rollins pointed out to me, they're better than the ones that were on the truck. He restarts fourth. We're set to go back green. Still an issue here trying to decide who is where between John Wood and the 18 of of Dennis Setzer, and it doesn't look like it's going to get settled before the green flag is going to come because they got it worked out. Yep, the pace truck has made its way onto pit road. The green flag back in the air. Chad McCombie leads the field. Matt Crafton running second. Here comes Kyle Busch. Where's he going? Is he going low or is he going high? Or in a minute, go high. Kyle Busch right on the back bumper of Matt Crafton. Now he looks to the inside, taking second away from Crafton. Now he'll set his sights on the aid of Chad McCombie. How about middle? <laughs> I'm going to go with middle. That's another option he had. What about Richie Waters? He's having a great night tonight. He's tuned that truck, and now he's made a call that's gotten to the track position, and as they come off turn four, Kyle Busch to the lead. That A truck of Chad McCombie, just a sitting duck down there with older tires. Kyle Busch just drove by on the outside. Hornaday's caught up in traffic. The second, and, and, uh, the other best truck of the evening is hung up in traffic and can't get clear to get after Kyle Busch. Some awfully heavy traffic right there. There's Ron Hornaday right there. Made the pass on Crafton. That will be for third. Look at these trucks. What a wad of trucks we have here. There's Three Dennis Setzer on the wide. inside. All that, that white Dodge on the inside. These guys are all battling for a top 10 spot, Bill, so they're not goofing around. 
We only have eight trucks on the lead lap right now. Remember, Terry Cook got the Aaron's Lucky Dog, so he had to restart this race at the very tail end of the longest line. That's why he's not up there racing those other trucks for the uh, for the top eight spots. Todd Bodine, the first truck a lap down. He's being scored the highest in ninth. Here goes the 33 of Ron Hornaday, right by Chad McCombie. Now it's Kyle Busch and Ron Hornaday, one and two once again. Okay, Ron Hornaday got by those trucks fairly quickly. You can see the gap right there. There's our leader left of your screen. That's the 51 of Kyle Busch, and here comes Hornaday. Hornaday was leading the race. Richie Waters and that crew for Kyle Busch rolled the dice. They said, it's going to stop raining. We're going to go back green. Let's pit right now. And because of that decision, he has a 20-truck lead over second place Ron Hornaday. We learned a long time ago not to doubt what Richie Waters does on pit road. He he knows when it's going to rain. He knows when the caution is going to fall. He knows, he it, knows all. it all. Ray Dunlap, what does Ron Ron Hornaday know about the finish of this race? Well, he knows that he wished he would have pitted whenever the 51 came, but I just asked Kevin Harvick, what do you think about a tire limit? He said, I absolutely love it. It makes it so much more interesting. He said, I've been lobbying NASCAR for years to get us a tire limit over in the Sprint Cup Series. He said it makes it a lot more fun to have all the different strategies. Adam? And guys, there may not only be a race on the track, but a race against Mother Nature. You guys talked about the starting of the rain and the stopping, starting to feel sprinkles again again on pit road and it's starting to pick up now so moisture once again you see in the in the flag stand kim lopez is going to throw the caution so the caution once again kyle bush is in front caution is out we heard it sounded like kyle bush making yeah. uh, a little bit of play-by-play -play there Ron Horn today moved up beside him just to let him know I'm right here once again, Kyle. This time it looks as though the rain comes down a bit harder. We've used the words lose the racetrack before. What that means is, is when the track gets so soaked that they will have to bring jet dryers out here before they could restart the race. And we hope that we do not lose the racetrack. <laughs> That's an amazing turn of events. Ron Hornaday is set on cruise control. Everything was looking good. Starts to rain. Aaron's lucky dog for Tom Bodine. He's gotten himself back into the battle. He'll drive around, make up a lap. Thanks to Aaron to get in the freight. The rain is coming here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Will we get it back underway? Stick around. We'll find out. think it sounds exciting, wait until the real thing. I've been saving my voice, expecting the <laughs> unexpected here at Atlanta Motor Speedway, knowing the most exciting finishes in the series happen right here at this racetrack. Right now we're under caution because of rain once again. We have the best two trucks all night running 1-2. Kyle Busch, the 51 and the 33 of Hornaday. Rain picked up quite a bit, Phil, but it seems to have leveled off a little bit. Subsided a bit. I think. Well, while we have a moment, let's take a look at tonight's Stay in the Game with Just for Men hair color moment. How about a guy that needs to stay in the game but has a long pit stop, so he restarts back at about 21st. You know, I've never seen this before here at this racetrack. I've never seen that before anywhere. Like, he drove off the racetrack to pass people, and then they got mad at him for it, so he said, fine, I'll do it the other way. <laughs> you know, you, you stay in the game with just for men watching him turn great, <laughs> especially if you're in one of those trucks out there with him. Uh, how about one of the guys who's racing against him? Let's see if we can talk to Kyle. Hey, Kyle Bush, Phil Parsons, can you hear me? Hey, I got you, Phil. What's up? We just looked uh, at a little video there. That that was kind of a new line that you used early on the race when you uh, ran the apron. Now, a lot of racetracks that aren't banked that much, we see some trucks and cars run down on the apron, but you were at speed passing trucks on the very bottom flat of the racetrack. Gotta go where they ain't. There wasn't any on the apron, so pretty much had to follow them there, but uh, make sure I'm doing the right thing here, hopefully. Anyways, <laughs> uh, truck's been handling real well all night, though. We've been really, really, really loose, so. Just been trying to tighten it up and get a handle on this thing, but uh, you know we ought to ask the pace truck to uh, 
dull down them lights a little bit, then things are bright. I like following pace trucks and all, but holy cow. I tell you what a great call by Richie to bring you in when the pit road opened on this most recent caution flag. That gave you the track position. You gave up second. It looked like it may even rain this thing out and you were going to give up a sure second place finish. Richie brought you down pit road. The rain stopped. You got back going here. Now the rain came again. But what a great call by Richie. Well, it really was. You know, I mean, we just had to uh, do what we needed to do in order to get some tires on this thing because, you know, we've won that way here in the past two times and we knew that tires was going to be the deal so uh, being able to get them fresh skins on this baby and hopefully take it to the front was going to be the chore but uh, the rest of those guys came a lap later than us so luckily we got the track position a little bit easier how much fun was it you for race with uh, racing hornaday like you guys have raced so hard tonight we have raced pretty hard tonight it's been cool you know he's got a, a really fast truck you know that uh those guys have really done their homework and have really gotten a truck that'll get around this place very, very well. We battled them for the win here last fall, and, uh, you know, we are again tonight, so hopefully we can finish it out. You were kind of our eyes down there on the racetrack. Does it, how does that rain look? Does it look like it's slowing down any, or, or uh, we have a little bit of a, a, a long lull here to get the track drive? Uh, the back straightaway was a little bit wet. It's kind of damp. I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. It just needs to be get... Uh, blown off here and make sure that it's dry enough for us to go around and not have any issues but you know it kept sprinkling down the back straightaway the whole time so hopefully if we get this thing going we get it going if not uh you know my brother's won one this way here in atlanta by the rain so hopefully i can well we appreciate you talking to us and if we get this thing back going uh have, have a good finish if not congratulations hey thanks bill appreciate it and so we've gone from yellow to red flag conditions. They stop the race trucks on pit road while they bring out the safety equipment as well as the jet dryers. Kyle talked a little bit about moisture on the back stretch. It's been an unbelievable start to this race here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. The teams were fired up as we got underway. The engine fired. High speeds and then problems sideways around the racetrack for multiple drivers. Richie Waters enjoyed the show. And welcome back to Atlanta Motor Speedway under a red flag condition, so no one able to pull out their craftsman tools and use them to make any final adjustments. We have seven laps of racing remaining. After 123 of the 130 laps, the reins came. Kyle Busch was out in front of Ron Hornaday, Chad McCombie, Matt Crafton, and Mike Skinner. I love that top five, don't you, Rick? You got you got the veterans up there, you got the rookies, and then, then you look at this group, it's a bunch of grizzly veterans, guys that have done this for a long time, but then you, in the top five, you've got McCombie, uh, Crafton up in the middle of them. Nice mix here in the truck series. Again, as we're under a red flag condition, the officials standing by the trucks, the driver's still strapped in, Safety crews working around the racetrack trying to get a dry racing surface. The next time the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series heads to the racetrack, it will be in three weeks, and that will be Martinsville. We go to short track racing. We've had three super speedways. The next time we hit to the racetrack, it will be the paperclip of Martinsville. So a little half mile, and that will be on Fox. So make sure to set your calendars for three weeks from now. Martinsville, NASCAR on Fox. Welcome back. The American Commercial Lines 200 on speed, actually on hold right now as we've had a little bit of a rain delay. We're under red flag condition. The trucks are parked on pit road, but we're hearing from NASCAR that they will be cranking the engines shortly and they'll be headed back to the racetrack. Let's see if we can catch up with Tom Bodine. He's had an up and down night, a little bit of a difficult pit stop for okay, him earlier. Be ready. They're pulling the jet dryers in put him a lap down. Hey, Todd, it's Mike, Phil, and Rick up in the speed booth. It's been a rough night for you, but you're back on the lead lap. Got something for these guys at the end? 